Hello, my name is Chuck Easley, and the title of the paper I'm going to be presenting is Are You Experienced or Are You Talented? The question we're seeking to answer is when does talent versus entrepreneurial experience explain startup performance? This is co-authored work with Ed Roberts from MIT Sloan. Previous literature has consistently found a positive association between founding experience and venture performance. Most of this prior literature attributes this effect to a learning effect, that entrepreneurs learn in their previous ventures and then apply these uh, lessons to have higher performance in their subsequent ventures. But there's an alternative explanation which is that this could be due to innate skill or talent differences, that more highly talented entrepreneurs become successful in the first venture and then are more likely to go on and found subsequent ventures. And so if the pool of serial entrepreneurs tends to be more talented and less talented entrepreneurs tend to stop after their first venture, then this could also explain this association that we've seen empirically. And so what about this innate story, innate talent story? Schumpeter was one of the first to suggest that entrepreneurs had a particular skill or talent beyond just bearing risk. However, relatively little scholarly work has systematically analyzed the idea of entrepreneurial talent. A few have uh, attempted previous definitions and have explored this idea. By entrepreneurial talent, the definition that we mean is a superior ability to consistently see viable entrepreneurial opportunities and effectively act upon them to generate greater venture performance. And so the hypotheses that I want to test are first that an entrepreneur with more venture founding experience is more likely to start high, higher performing ventures. Second, that this positive effect will be stronger if the ventures are founded under more familiar conditions. And I go into the paper more about what this means. Second, an entrepreneur with more innate talent is more likely to found a high performing venture. This positive effect will be weaker when the venture is in more familiar conditions and stronger when the venture is in more novel and familiar conditions. Third, we expect a linkage between experience and talent. So that an entrepreneur who's higher in talent and experience will be especially more likely to found a high performing venture. And third, this relationship that we predict in hypothesis 3A will become negative when there are higher levels of prior failures in the entrepreneur's experience. I don't want to go into all the details now, but in the paper we talk about why it is that experienced entrepreneurs have higher performance. And we also discuss why those experienced entrepreneurs will have encountered more problems and more solutions that they can reuse if the venture is more familiar to them relative to past ventures. Talented entrepreneurs are more likely to succeed because they can better engage in abstract reasoning, divergent thinking, and frame-breaking behaviors. They have an advantage to think more flexibly, and this gives more talented entrepreneurs an advantage in less familiar aspects of the venture, but is less of an advantage when the conditions surrounding the venture are more familiar. Talented founders extract more lessons from experience. This is due to a number of reasons, one of which is that developing useful heuristics is not automatic. It takes an extra step to go from experience to extracting lessons that can be reused out of that experience. Also, all aspects of ventures have pieces that are familiar and unfamiliar. And so talented entrepreneurs who have experience will be able to be more consistently high performing. But this is, uh, effect is negated by too many prior failures. This is due to reputation effects, difficulties gathering resources after too many failures, and changes in opportunity selection. 
The data that we use to test this comes from an alumni survey of MIT, where we have data on over 2,000 founders and have matched up this data with the USPTO patent database, as well as the Venture Expert database and SDC to bring in information uh, on these ventures. The industries are primarily software and electronics, um, but a variety of other industries are represented here as well. We measure for firm performance by firm revenues, and these are inflation, inflation adjusted. We take the natural log to account for skew, and uh, we use the most recent fiscal year in operation. This is a reliable, objective measure of performance that's available across the whole sample. We measure experience as the number of prior ventures uh, a firm has started. An, an entrepreneur has started. Talent, we use a couple of different measures. This is obviously the hardest part to measure in the paper. We use individual fixed effects from a first uh, stage regression. We also use the number of degrees, whether the individual has a graduate degree or prior exits as alternative measures to check for a robustness. In terms of familiarity, we use industry familiarity in terms of the SIC code, technological familiarity in terms of how similar the technology is to, to um, previous uh, work. Um, and we also use an industry disruption in terms of the software boom as an exogenous shock to the familiarity of the industry. These are the variables that we use to calculate the um, technological familiarity measure, and we then reverse code that measure so that one is a more familiar technology and zero is a more novel, less familiar technology. And so these are the results. First of all, in this table, we see that in model one, both experience and talent are positive and significant. So both contribute to venture performance, supporting hypothesis 1A and hypothesis 2A. In the next model, 2-2, uh, we see that industry familiarity is positive and significant, indicating that ventures that are founded in the same industry, in a familiar industry, are more likely to be successful. Uh, this lends support to hypothesis 1b. And then we also show that in model 2-3, uh, the interaction between experience and technological familiarity is positive and significant, indicating that experience is more helpful when the technology is more familiar. Model 2-4, on the other hand, we see a negative and significant coefficient on the interaction between talent and technological familiarity. This uh, suggests that in, more familiar, in ventures that are using more familiar technology, talent is less helpful. And so talent, in contrast, is more helpful when the technology is more novel. We also see a similar negative coefficient in model 2.2, uh, which also lends support to hypothesis 2b, that talent is more helpful in a more unfamiliar uh, venture context. Models 2.5 and 2.6 narrow the sample to the software industry, and here we use the industry disruption of the dot-com boom. And here again we see similar results that experience is less helpful. We get a negative coefficient here, when uh, we look at the interaction between experience and this industry disruption, so experience is less helpful after an industry disruption, and talent is more helpful in the unfamiliar conditions after an industry disruption. Finally, in model 2.7, we see that the interaction between talent and experience is positive and significant. And so in conclusion, we contribute to the debate on the link between startup experience and performance. And we establish the importance of entrepreneurial talent for venture performance. And so I think one of the contributions is that rather than a single blueprint for venture success, we show that the factors that drive performance in startups 
vary according to the broader industry and technological context. And so ignoring context, prior work would have gotten the answer wrong, would have overstated the, the role in performance of prior experience. We show how certain individuals might be better positioned to capitalize on certain types of opportunities. And we also place some theoretical boundaries on organizational learning effects in the context of new ventures. Finally, we account more fully for the costs of failure in showing that um, ventures that have had too many prior failures um, tend to see less of a positive effect from the combination of talent and experience. And so in conclusion, for a talented but inexperienced entrepreneur, it may be foolhardy to compete against experienced entrepreneurs in a mature industry with established technology. But, on the other hand, it might be a missed opportunity for the same individual to be intimidated by experienced entrepreneurs, particularly with innovative technology or in a brand new industry.